Hey everybody, welcome back to Castle Story. So, it's finally done. My map is complete, it's playable, and I'm really looking forward to this. So, what I've done is, there should be a link in the description where you can download this map. And for those of you who don't know who are just tuning in, this is a map I've been working on for months. And the goal of this map was to create a single player world where you can siege walls and fortresses, because in a normal single, single player game you can't do that, that's just the way it is. So what I did was I had this in gi giant journey pretty much, where you travel through mountains and plateaus, a forest, and then you have this giant walls here, here, a castle here, it's a fortress pretty much. And that's where the Corruptrons are. So your goal is to journey, make the journey, take back over the fortress from the Corruptrons. Um, I also have added invasion mode where you, you start here. I don't know how the game does it, but I tested invasion mode and we spawned at the castle, which is exactly what I wanted, and the Corruptrons spawn about right here. So you, they don't have to run through all that, it's just you get the first few walls. Um, and then of course multiplayer will come after this. This is really just a test to see how this works. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing it. So all I did since the last, okay, you know what, I can't even show you because I gotta get ready. You know, I can pause the game, can't I? I can pause the game somewhere, right? Yes, all right. I just wanna show you what I did. Hold on, let me get to the editor camera. Just show you what I did at the end of the build series. Pretty much just a bunch of floating islands everywhere. Like I said, I wanted to do. So these are just themed islands to the areas they are in. And then I added a shard in the mining camp and behind this wall. So it gives the defending team a reason to come out and um, capture those in multiplayer. And then I added some barricades here and here. And then I just covered this area or this hill with plants added a lot more attention to detail around here and then some trees and plants around the city and then of course your final area now multiplayer is going to be interesting because how multiplayer is going to work is the defending team their walls are like completely blocked like you can dig through these columns if you want to or you bring your troops up here and have them jump off that's how i'm going to do it when i'm defending because I want the uh, security of the walls. I'll just have them all jump off the walls in order to move on to the next section. I don't mind doing that. But yeah, this is what it looks like, and I'm really pleased with it. So feel free to download it. Link's in the description. And go and explore everything on your own. Okay. So it does all three modes. Multiplayer, Invasion, and now Conquest, which you're seeing right now. So first thing I need, I'm pretty sure, is trees. It's been so long. Since I've actually legitimately played this game. Alright, so there we go. I think the worst thing about the map, which is not anything I can do, is the more you move up, the more annoying it is to like build and do things with your Bricktrons because they want to always run back to here. You cannot move this task. For some reason, you just can't do anything with this. Like if I can move this, that'd be so great. But you can't do that, so your Bricktrons are always going to want to come back here when they aren't doing anything. And also, if you have stockpiles back here, they're going to want to use these stockpiles if there's resources on them for things millions of miles away. So that's another annoying thing. But other than that, I don't really have anything that I can think of yet. Like I said, it's been a long time since I have played actual Castle Story without building something. So it should be interesting to see how this one runs. Okay. I think I've said everything I've thought about saying. We're going to start with a few stockpiles. And I have a, I have a strategy. We're going to see if it's a good strategy. I don't know if it's going to be a good strategy. We're going to try to get these crystals as soon as possible. This is a good test to see how quickly we get our Bricktrons. And uh, then I want a lot, of, um, a lot of bomb guys. There was just an update for um i'm just trying to think of things i need while talking oh it's difficult there was an update for catapults where they're different now they don't require a person to aim or fire and they just need require a bricktron to reload it and one will reload it whenever there's one nearby a uh, thing and why was i saying that right because I didn't know this until recently, I've mentioned it before while I was building, is the Arbalists. Are they Arbalists? The guys who throw the bombs are meant to be mobile catapults, pretty much. So they're the ones that are supposed to be 
sieging when you're attacking. That doesn't mean you can't use... Um, is two going to be enough? For now. You can't use... doesn't mean you can't use catapults to attack. I'm going to be doing that. But, um... Yeah, that's the point of them. So I'm going to be building a lot of them because I think that's going to be very helpful. Also, I don't want all these converting. All right, now I'll turn them all to auto convert off because I want the stone for glass. I'll just turn these ones off. There we go. Okay, so they're going to be doing that. We still need weapons racks and workbenches. What's nice about single player here is we don't really have to worry about the Corruptrons attacking because they're kind of dumb. So that we're going to be fine with. I want that. I want a laboratory, an altar. Yes, I definitely want an altar. We want a mage. And we're going to want a forge. Is there going to be enough room here? Yep. Yeah. And then I want a... Did I say altar? No, laboratory. Okay. We're actually... I'm probably going to need a few laboratories just so I can mass produce things. Or maybe not here. Maybe in the future I will. When we move up. Alright, so we no longer need that. What we need now is... We can just get rid of that. We need brimstone and iron. So we can start to power our furnaces with the brimstone. And start to make iron bars with the iron. Which then we can then use for other things. I can't remember what those things are, but let's see what's closer. There's so many materials. I didn't want materials, as you can see. Or resources. I didn't want that to be an issue here. So that's why you get a bunch of them. Right. I want to get these crystals first. So. We want this altar done. That is the goal. Crystals first. We just need some iron bars going here. People are standing around. I hate how they're standing around. Okay, so we want... The song is new. I've never heard this song before. I wonder if they just added this with the new update. With the catapults. Okay. So everything is going accordingly, right? I don't need anything else, I don't think. I think we're good. Alright, this guy needs to... No, I kind of want him to keep going here. Because, um... We need planks. Lots of planks. So he can keep doing that for now. And I'll tell him to stop. I want these furnaces going as soon as possible. There we go. My goal while they're doing this is to run through the mountains here. Um, we do have boulders we're going to need to get through. I'm going to use explosive barrels to get through them. You could use your our Bricktrons to dig through them. But I'm going to put an explosive barrel down. It's pretty useful. Because you have three locations here where you need to get through. And then... We're going to run here. We're going to sprint up this way. Um, something, if you've been watching the build series that I said I was going to do, I said I was going to have a staircase here, and I did. So that way you can break through these rocks to climb up this way, or you can go the long way, climb up here, jump off here, siege. So since we don't have to worry about Corruptrons, and I should probably mention why, the Corruptrons are stuck behind this wall. <laughs> They're not smart. Well, they kind of, see, it's weird. They kind of are smart enough, but they kind of aren't. Um, I tested it real quick. Just to see how much damage. Like, my thought process was, okay, they're just going to dig through all the walls. Which would have been fine. I would have been fine with that. But they just stand around. But if you have a Bricktron close, and they see it, they'll run up here and jump off for it. So I think if you're close enough, they'll do it. But only if you're close enough. So right now we have nothing to worry about until we get probably to here. <laughs> These guys are just going to be dumb. So we'll see how that works out. So my strategy is to charge through here as soon as possible. And this is kind of a warm-up for multiplayer, too. Because I am going to try this map on multiplayer after this series. So I'm going to charge through here as fast as possible. Which is what I should be focused on now, my Bricktrons, but I'm not. Charge through here, and then when we get to the mining camp, this is where I'll set up for a siege and resupply for my bomb guys and everything. And then we will have a actual siege, so... Sprint through here. That's the goal. <laughs> Let's see. How are, how are guys doing? They have... Alright, they're getting the ingots ready, which is good. Alright, we got plenty of planks. What do we need? We need plants for archers. We need weapons racks. We don't have weapons racks. So let's get some of them as well. Alright. I guess I'll only really focus on knights, archers, um, arbalists, mage... Probably should get the crossbow guys. Watch the crossbow guys be called Arbalist. Night kit. Yes, I knew that one. Alright, let's get some... I think I only need two. 
for what I want to do here. Oh, we need some glass. Right, 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 right. So stop cooking iron in there. Start cooking glass. Just clear those out. Okay. See, that's why we need more rock. So I am going to need that task back. The one that I got rid of. All right. Boulders. So this first episode's mostly going to be just preparing. And then next episode, we should hopefully break out here. And, uh start to move forward wow we already got one pylon down nice or built blocks structures so if you place it right in the center here it should hit all three and then we're gonna want one right here or here it might not matter it also might matter put it here i think that'll get it okay so we just need the brimstone we need more dudes. Ask and ye shall receive for it. We should start running and doing things. We need more brimstone. How many guys are on iron too? Zero. See, that's what I don't understand. That's something that feels like it's changed. They are all the same priority. But look, we got two guys and no one on brimstone. So we're going to up the priority of brimstone. It's kind of important. And this is another thing. Look at this. They're kind of dumb. <laughs> Come over here, idiot. You need to micromanage these guys a lot. They're kind of stupid. Just a little bit, though. They can't help it. I mean, once they die, they turn to stone. So they're pretty much rocks. <laughs> they're living, breathing rock guys. So yes, perfect. Okay. So they can't help it that they're dumb. Let's see. The reason why this side has crystals and the attacking side only has the two, or the defending side only has the two, that's done on purpose to try to balance it out a little bit. Whoa, that's a sound. It just made a noise. So that's why that's like that. Okay. I feel like they keep on putting the, yep, rock on auto convert ones. Yeah, we don't really need much brick after this, really. All right, let's start to get some, we just need more glass. See, this is what I'm thinking. Okay, we're gonna build two more furnaces. <laughs> It's kind of cool how that makes a noise now. This way we can get more glass bricks. Do we even need more glass bricks after this? Probably. I do want more laboratories. Do I need more laboratories? I'm so... So indecisive. I don't really think we need that much here. Just enough to get through that first wall. Um, how many people do I want? Let's see. Well, max. We can get 15 population. That's new since the last time I played this. There used to be no population max, which, as you can tell by the last map I made, population max is definitely needed, because we had 20 guys each, and the game just imploded. <laughs> Could not handle that many Bricktrons. So, I'm trying to think of how I should divide up my guys. I want at least, let's see, four archers, four knights, it's eight. It's like half our people. Three bomb boys, 11. A mage, 12. And then three Bricktrons to do work until we get over to that area. That might be good. So we'll bring three normal Bricktrons to, like, set up weapons racks in the area we set up for camp, except for the siege. And then everyone else will just be there until they're ready. Okay. I think it's a good plan. Maybe it's not. We'll find out. All right. We need more glass. What are you guys doing? Just standing around? I was going to highlight multiple furnaces, but you cannot do that. We also still want iron as well, so get that cooking. Just have a bunch of glass being made. I mean, we have the stone. They're just taking their time. I feel like we should also be doing something else. I'm not sure what. Uh, let's make a night kit while we're at it. Let's queue up one of those. We've got the iron for it. We have seven iron. Okay. And then I just I want to make the bomb barrels. So that way we can start to blast through that rock. I want to try to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm thinking around 30 minutes. Game time. We'll be able to get out of here. So, um... Next episode. <laughs> I want to see, that's another reason why I wanted to do it as fast as possible. Just so... It's not just an episode of me standing here looking at this thing. Because that's essentially what it has been so far. But that's just the way these games start out. We need looms. 
Or a loom. Yeah, we just need a singular loom. Which means we're gonna need grass as well. Grass. Grass, I say. Leaves. So let's get some more stockpiles as well. I mean, we don't need them yet, but we will. So might as well do that now. Okay. Good, the loom is done. Let's start to get fabric, which we need plants for. So let's start to get plants. New task. Plants. All right. Yep, we can get a new guy. I gotta pay attention to that now that we have all six of these crystals. They're gonna be coming quicker. Okay, so glass blocks are done. Blocks. Bricks are done. Let's get one, two, three, four. Let's get five of them. I don't think we're gonna need that many more. Um, can we blast it? We might be able to get through here with one barrel. No, we might need two there. We'll need one here, two there, and then we'll maybe one here as well. I don't know. We'll see. They're already going. Look at this. They're being kind of smart, which is nice. I'm just waiting for them to act dumb, though. Oh, we got another Brictron. Who is it? Winton's. Yo, I want a Brictron named Toadlet. I don't think I'm asking for too much. I just want a Bricktron named Toadlet. All right, let's also focus on the mage, which does cost glass. Good. Artificer. Also, Alchemist. Yikes! The crossbow guys are Arbalists. That's my bad. Right, this is another reason why we need glass, because we need them. That is completely my bad. We got no one getting leaves. This guy's just standing here. He's apparently building something. I don't think we have anything left to build. Good for him, though. All right, well, we do now. We have an explosive barrel that we're going to put here. Um, hmm. So you can put it either here, hopefully hit that rock, or here and hit those two front ones. I'm going to hit the two front ones, see what happens. Oh, wow, we have four barrels. All right, so hopefully, see, one guy. Hey, look, now that guy's going. No, I want this on low priority. Oh, good. Now we have a third guy going to do it. Honestly, see, I don't know why they're this dumb. They seem pretty much... They seem dumber. Maybe it's just me, but they seem dumber. So this is why it would be perfect to have a Bricktron named Hodlet. Because <laughs> I'm pretty dumb. All right. See, all those guys wanted to build. Why don't they get leaves? Harvest those things. Okay, there he goes. This song sounds slightly different. Like, I, it sounds like it's the same song, but it sounds different. The instruments. All right, here we go. Run! Kablamo, yeah, we're gonna need to get through this rock as well. Well, we have the barrels, so might as well just put another one down. I was gonna make him dig through it, but forget that. Build. Structures. Barrel. Put that thing right there. Easy clear. Okay, we got plenty of brimstone, some iron. We're just getting ingots now. Ten bricks. Let's start to get a few alchemist kits. Which means we probably need more glass bricks. No big deal. Except it is a big deal because we are out of stone. Which means we can either find more boulders or I'll just dig a quarry. Which is another thing for them to do. Fantastic. Tunnel, quarry. Let's just put this thing right here. Actually, let's put it right there. Where's the stairs? No. Can I rotate the stairs at all? I don't know how I would rotate the stairs if I can. I don't think I can. Yeah, you can't really rotate this thing, can you? Oh, well. I wanted the stairs as close to the stockpiles as possible to save time. We'll put it right here. We don't need that much stone. Also, I want all these things to... Auto-convert off. Okay, good. 
So I don't want it turning to bricks on me because that'll fill up your stockpile super quick. So we have an, a mage or a artificer. We have a, wait, alchemist. I'm never going to remember that. And a knight kit ready. Let's get some archery kits too, which means we need some rope. We'll get some more. We always need fabric for these things, so. All right, good. We have that other explosive barrel there yet? No. Major letdown. Come on, guys. Who should be doing it? We just need another dude. Backlian. Some of these names. Wharf. Who's my favorite here? Uh, Winton's or Wharf is probably my favorite. <laughs> it is nice not having anyone idle, though. Alright, we're gonna make uh, May here. As soon as May puts that dirt there, pick up a barrel, take care of the. Okay, where are you running? Wh May! I said pick up a barrel, and you want to go pick up plants. Don't let me down, May. Alright, take care of that. Oh, yeah, I have the build task on, no one does it, that's why. It's probably better that way, because like I said, five of them will pick up explosive barrels and take them over to the same spot. Okay, and then as soon as we hit this, that's probably when I'll end this video. I know I did a lot of talking. I wanted to make sure I said everything I wanted to say. I probably missed something, so if you have a question, feel free to ask. I made this map. <laughs> this is the map I've been working on for months. And, uh, doing single player first, just so, uh... I can kind of play test it a little bit before multiplayer. I will do multiplayer on this map. Do not worry. Should be a lot of fun. A lot more fun than single player. And if you don't believe I made this, I put my name there. <laughs> there you go. There's the Easter egg. Put my name there. Okay. May. Don't you dare. May might not trigger this because it's up too high. Nope. They did. Run. Hello, lag spike. Kaboom. Okay, so we're through the first wall. Two more left, and then we can travel through. All right, and with that, gonna end this one here. Nice little camp going here. Everything's working well. Every Bricktron's working hard. And uh, yeah, we'll take back the Corruptron Fortress or die trying. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed. They help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.